It's so heavy. Oh, why did I sell this? Hey guys, Kenny here, the Hobby Cop, and thanks for stopping by the channel. So today is what? Uh, I'm not sure when you're going to be watching this, probably later in the week, but today is Tuesday. And no, I don't even know what it is. Wednesday. And um, I'm shipping out a couple packages. This rumbling thing down here, it's pretty big. Um, I think it weighs 20 some pounds. Uh, it's just way too big for me. So the reason I'm saying, as the title says, this package is too big, I'm not selling something like this again, is because I am in Canada. This is a big mailbox, it's a USPS approved mailbox I got on an online auction here in Canada. I don't know why somebody had it up here. But anyway, I ended up selling, I think I sold it for $159 plus $59 shipping. It's actually gonna cost me $90 to ship. So I'm gonna take that out of the profit. I only paid 30 bucks for the thing. So I'm gonna be profitable on this, but it's just too much of a hassle. Like I don't wanna be spending 90 bucks to ship things out. And I bought this before I really had a grasp of the whole shipping, shipping to the States, eBay, selling in Canada to the United States. So that's something I am learning. Um, it's definitely something that's been profitable for me to sell in the States. Uh, you have a bigger market. Now, even if I put stuff on eBay.ca, to me, it's just kind of not the same as having my store based in the United States. Um, so the buyer see all that stuff with the US prices and everything like that. Uh, so that's how I personally do it. You can do it however you want. But I've learned that items like this, shipping across the border, are not worth it. So I ended up, I usually use a third party shipper, and I think that would have been some insane price, like 160 bucks. I used um, Canada Post, uh, and I got it down to like $90 shipping. Like I said, I think in the end, I'm still gonna make 60 or 70 bucks, so I'm happy with that. Start this video before um, I packaged up my first thing. It's a Nintendo Link. Uh, toy. I'm going to put a thing up here, but I think it's maybe from the 90s. It's kind of like that rubbery, good quality. You can tell the difference between like a McDonald's toy nowadays and an old one. Uh, this is not a McDonald's toy. Though. I don't know why I said that, but it's a Nintendo uh, toy, Zelda uh, Link, a little tiny figurine, like I think maybe like two inches or something like that, but it sold. I paid, It was in a, a bag from like Savers or Valley Village for $2.99, uh, and I think I sold just that one toy this is for $25 bucks, uh, plus shipping, which is going to be up there. So I have that packaged up. Um, and then the next thing I have to do, we're going to go downstairs here. I have uh, a lunchbox, a Transformers lunchbox that is going to Israel of all places. So um, the buyer bought it. I think they paid maybe, I want to say, 14 bucks or something like that for uh, the lunchbox. And then the shipping, I sent them a quote on shipping because I didn't have um, like international stuff. I didn't have it set up for a price. Just like I'll, I'll quote it once I know where it's going. Uh, so it's going to Israel. And I think it was $19 uh, for shipping to go Ascentia Air, I think it's called. It's going to be tracked going to Israel. Never sold something in Israel before. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get that. Um, and then... We'll ship the stuff off, then we're gonna go thrifting a little later. Yeah, the lunchbox is outside in the garage. Eventually, this is my man cave where we're at now, my gaming computer. Uh, you can see over here, uh, more stuff. So eventually I wanna move kind of my, my eBay business out of this space and into my garage. Um, obviously that would be ideal. I want my man cave kind of back here. But right now, as I'm learning and growing, uh, this will be it. Uh, and eventually we'll be outside in this garage. So let me step over Sadie here. Sadie, say hi to everybody. Hi. That's Sadie, she's a border collie. But we're gonna go outside here. And it's only a few steps away, but being in Canada, this could get cold in the winter time uh, going back and forth. So what I wanna do is this is not an insulated garage. I would like to get this insulated. I'll do that myself. Uh, and then turn this space here. You can see I already have some stuff here, but turn this whole side. Over here uh, is a gym area, and this side, I wanna turn this into my eBay space. So I'd have bins along the wall here, maybe bins coming up the middle, dividing the two bays. Then behind me would be, which is now a messy uh, tabletop with tools and stuff. This side would be uh, a shipping place. Over there would still be kind of a workbench. Um, so I'd have like, 
I'd get maybe a little extra, another laptop, my printing label. I uh, would put bubble stuff down here that I could pull down, wrapping all my supplies underneath. So this would be a contained eBay, uh, I guess, what do you call it, warehouse with all my shipping so I wouldn't have to go back and forth. So what I'm looking for is a lunchbox out of bin D. And if this was turned around properly, this would be bin D. Let me check, is that bin D? Yeah, bin D. I'm looking for a Transformers. That's a cool mitt. If anybody wants a cool catcher's mitt, there's one for you. Uh, what do we got? Some clothing. This is all, I'm keeping my clothing inside now. There's the transformer, so I have to move that stuff in there. Uh, that's the Transformers lunchbox. It's in great shape. I think it's like from 2014. Uh, but this is going overseas. Let me see what we got here. 2013. Overseas all the way to Israel. So I hope that person enjoys that. So let's get this packed up. Oh okay, guys, so we are here in the shipping closet where I do my eBay shipping currently. I'll uh, open this door so it doesn't close on me. But so a little tip for you guys. So if you're starting off eBay like myself, um, I've since invested in a little bit of boxes where I, I paid for them. But to get free boxes, here's a little tip. It works for me, it may not work for you, but I go to Walmart in the morning. Um, and then when the salespeople, or sorry, I guess the, the cashiers, whatever, it's kind of slow in the morning, they'll be stacking or stocking like the candy, the gum, and all that stuff up front. They'll usually have uh, carts full of small boxes. So you can see here, I got this small box fits that perfectly i'm going to bubble wrap it and this is what a arm and hammer fresh thing that would have gone up by the cash registers uh, like air fresheners or whatever so i got that box for free so i'm going to ship it out it's a perfect size box i asked the lady a couple times she just let me take whatever i wanted so i picked through kind of those smaller sizes that i want uh, and now i have that box for free if i would have paid for that online depending on the quantity i bought it would have been maybe a 75 cent to a dollar box um, but I've now saved that and that goes into my profits. So just a little tip. So we're gonna bubble wrap that and we're gonna get that out. Oh boy, I'm hatless. I usually have a hat on, but anyway. So just back to that tip that I said about um, shipping boxes from Walmart. I forgot to add, um, make sure, see this as a barcode, barcode, barcode. Make sure those are all removed. I a lot of times wrap uh, those boxes in craft paper so it's completely covered, it looks nice and crisp. This one I'm gonna use some duct tape to cover those up. Uh, it's going overseas, like I said, to Israel, and I just figured if I put it in craft paper, uh, there's a good chance that, that will get ripped and they might get exposed. So I'm gonna put some duct tape over it all um, just so that's gonna stay there. There's gonna be no barcodes other than my shipping label that I just printed out. Okay. Why did I decide to ship this? I guess it'd be a lot easier to if I wasn't holding this camera, wouldn't it? Okay guys, I'm here at this uh, thrift store. Uh, came away pretty much empty handed here. Um, I was looking at these Build-A-Bears. They're priced a little too much for me to make profit. Uh, usually actually stuffies here are a great price. I pick them up a lot. They're five for a dollar, so you can't go wrong. I checked out these uh, trucks. Uh, the second one here is a John Deere truck, truck a Silverado. Uh, there wasn't really any profit in that shape. Um, this store is, is always, I said before, hit or miss for me. It was called Mission Mart. Uh, I did end up leaving with what I think I think it was a Reebok pump shirt for like two ninety five. So I was okay with that. So now we're over at the Salvation Army. Um, I find a lot of their display stuff is overpriced. Sometimes you find some gems. There is an Xbox. I don't like dealing with. The bigger consoles like that I'll, I'll rather get the games uh, this toy I've never bought any toys in this uh, display case they always have them competitively priced or actually quite high um, and I've come away with some other knickknacks here but I'm coming up now to the big find of the day as you can see here uh, those are PSP games Game Boy Advance games and Nintendo DS games so stay tuned uh, for the next clip I'll show you what was in there Okay guys, so I'm back from the thrift stores. Uh, nothing crazy, not a big crazy haul day. Oops, dropped the shirt. Uh, but I did get uh, some stuff that I think will be good. Uh, first thing I got uh, was this Reebok pump t-shirt. I think I paid like two bucks for it. Uh, I don't know the comps in that, but I'm guessing I can sell it for like 12 bucks or something like that. Next, I have for $3.99 a pack of figurines. I wanted the turtle 
and you can see him in there. Uh, there's a Venom, a Batman, uh, some wrestler. I'm building somewhat of a wrestling lot that I'll end up selling on eBay. So for that, I really just wanted the turtle. Uh, this is a Moana lot. So you got the big guy that Rock played, Moana herself, and I think her dad there. I uh, paid $2.99 for that. I'll throw that up. Maybe get like $12, $15 bucks for that. Um, this is a lot of... So it looks like some Shopkin stuff, some other random uh, little pieces. For $3.99, I picked that up. And the reason being is I also picked up this uh, Shopkins case. You can see or here, it's filled with Shopkins. I'm just going to top it off with those ones and sell uh, that. But the, the thing I'm most excited for are these video games. So you saw it in the footage there. Um, we have a bunch of video games here. I don't know... This is the, what is this, the Game Boy ones. I didn't look up any of these. I'll throw some comps up on the screen, but there's ones like Banjo, Kazooie, Mario Party Advance, Harry Potter, uh, Mario, Super Mario Advance, Harry Potter again, and Yu-Gi-Oh. So those are all definitely uh, titles I would think would be good. Um, I know nothing, zero, about PSP. Never owned one, never played one. Uh, but for that last lot there um, was 24 bucks as well as this one, 24 bucks. And there's probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Almost 20 PSP games and some movies in there. So for 24 bucks, can't really go wrong. I got a bucket piece. I can lot some up, uh, pull out some good titles, and um, see what I have. I'll throw up some comps on the screen as well. And the last one um, was for 34 bucks, uh, but still worth it. Uh, DS games. You can see that's a good chunk of DS games there. Uh, what I would say, 5, 10, 15, I'd say 20 some. Um, and I looked up this DS Metro Prime Hunters. Uh, and let, me see, let me see if I can show you guys a little better. Anyway, I'll, I'll throw the comp up on the screen. But it looks like that one alone will pretty much get my money back for this bag here. And everything else will be profit in it. So not bad. So I'm going to go inside, um, start processing this stuff on eBay. Maybe edit this video. And... Uh...